Hello, my dear student, my name is Alexander, and I'm reading this course for you, which is called C Sharp Starter. It's a course for students who don't know anything about programming languages or people who something listen about it and maybe try to learn it by yourself. First of all, we talk about programming languages in general. What is it? When programmer writes a program, he makes some set of instructions. This program is converted to machine code by PC, then this code is sent to processor, which executes them. This code we just called instruction. Today we have a different type of programming languages and different approaches. We have procedural languages, which include the simple design, such as variable, condition, methods, arrays, and so on. The procedural languages don't have such high-level concept as object-oriented languages. On the other hand, object-oriented languages also contain all those design, the variables, circles, methods, arrays, but advance functionally. For example, they have class, which help you to construct object. They include more than procedural languages. We will talk about it in the next step of our C Sharp course, which is called Essential. In C Sharp Starter course, we will talk only about algorithms, how to work with a model, class, and object. We will talk in course C Sharp Essential. C Sharp Starter is introduction to programming. We will see how to write algorithms and how to use simple programming construction. Today we talk about C Sharp history. How it was developed is this language, talk about what type of project we can write on C-sharp and what we can't do with it. At the end of the lessons we talking about developing environment, Visual Studio, and looking how to create a project. We will see C-sharp is very easy languages, so don't worry and let's start. In our presentation on page number 2 we can see a short block information about C-sharp. As you know, C Sharp is object oriented programming language. He was developed more than 10 years ago in 19, so it's not young language, but unique. What includes a lot of syntax construction from another programming language. The group of engineers who developed C Sharp include in it the best and most common construction from another language, like C, Smalltalk, and other. That's why C Sharp has huge number syntax construction, which helps us to write program quickly and easily. That's why today more and more programmers choose C Sharp for their project. If we scroll our presentation on the next page, we can see information about Andres Hasberg. He was a team leader of group of engineers who was developed C Sharp. It's a Danish software engineer from Copenhagen. In 20 years, wrote his first Pascal compiler, write it for DOS, and sold it for Borland Company. After that, he worked in this company, wrote a new Pascal compiler called Delphi for. Windows operating systems and naturally joined Microsoft. Let's find more extra information about C Sharp, how we can do it. Nowadays, almost of all we can find in Wikipedia. So I have visited this website, I have found articles about C Sharp, and what are we seeing here? We see a contents box where we have a links of information in this article. We have design goals, name, history, syntax, common type system, preprocessor, and other information. Moreover, we have example, example of C sharp code. Okay, visit for example versions. We have a table that shows how many versions of C sharp we have. Each of version contain more syntax construction than previous. So, this table shows how C Sharp develops. I strongly recommend you visiting this website and 
read this article and what next we for example look on the example yeah you see it's code on c sharp and uh, after these lessons you will know how to write this simple program this code so you will be able to compile this and understand how it works we return to our presentation and look what programs we will be able to write on C-sharp. We can create desktop application, web application, utilities, application for mobile devices, game application, business solution and other. After a minute we talk more detail about all these items and now we talk what we can't write on C-sharp. We can write drivers. Drivers is a special program for printers, video card, audio card and other electronic devices. Video card without program is just a piece of material. Program for this device is worked by low level programming languages or compiler languages. C sharp is interpret language. What different between interpret language and compiler language we are going to talk later i would say that the fact that c sharp it's interpret language it's not comfortable to write big game such as half-life gta battlefield where we have a lot of graphic and huge gameplay to write all other game we can use c sharp and now let's talk more detail about C sharp possibility. If we move to the next page, number five in our presentation, we will see desktop application. We understand that if we like to use, for example, text editor from Microsoft, we need install to computer Office Suite. This program, which includes Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint and other programs. That's why this type of application is called desktop application. All program which is installed on computer we call desktop application. And using C sharp we can write application for them. Let's look on the following type of application. It's web application. You may say that this is Office again, but look, we have Microsoft Internet Explorer. You look, you will have Office 665 inside Explorer. In fact, this Office was installed on Microsoft server. It's loaded to you from Microsoft server. Please remember, we have two types of Office suits, the desktop, the one that you can install on your PC, and the web, which is located remotely on MS server. This type we call web application. This is not just a site. This is complex application, the same as desktop application, that has a lot of program logic. You can see here many you can see here many buttons and these buttons you can click it something going on. We are going to the next page services. Services another variety of applications. What do they represent? Let's look closely at this picture. It describes Windows Live Messenger. Here I am, for example, and he is my friend. Look, he is a server of Microsoft, which gave special programs services. Another my friend is offline, but he can connect just to run the computer. So this chat is for two. My friend sent me a message through the server and I accept them and send 
my message so we get a chat moreover he makes some settings and enjoys the services of dating here is my interface my window this is my log a special file which is written correspondence history more detail we will study service in the course of windows communication foundation a technology that show you how to quickly build services services on the server side is called provider services the user side is called consumer my friend sent me a message to provider and provider forward it to me and i get the message there are a services i used for distributed or enterprise systems we are the microsoft programmers and it means that all of our solution focus mostly on business support and creation of business solution let's look on the next page what are we seeing this is mobile application can we write a sharp program for mobile application? Of course you can. Look at the page number 9. Is it possible to create games? Of course you can. Microsoft releases Xbox 360, game console. Furthermore, we have Kinect, a device that allows us to simulate the activity. The guy makes some movement and the system recognizes them and the same action happen on the screen this type of application we can write on c sharp too we look on the next page in our presentation business application we have three microsoft dynamics crm this is a great solution for microsoft crm client relationship management is a model for managing a company's interaction with current and future customers. Microsoft has a lot of different solutions for businesses, such as Novision, Accepta, ERP system, enterprise research, planning. This is a big ready-made and customizable solution. When you buy a solution, sometimes it doesn't have all the necessary functionality for your businesses so that you will have to do you will have to find a programmer who adds a necessary module for example you need somebody here one column and you need to enter some data here we will have to use c sharp language to extend existing solution which delivers microsoft and we continue we are on the next slide advantage of c sharp language some of them we have already mentioned. First, C Sharp is object oriented language, simple and powerful programming language. C Sharp includes the best ideas from modern programming languages like Java, C, Visual Basic, and ATC. C Sharp allows quicker than any other languages to develop software solutions due to the fact that we have a syntactic abstraction. That's why we write programs faster. We have structures which don't have other languages. Therefore, using the same design, we do the things quicker than other, because they use multiple structures, a few lines of code. Also, C Sharp is reliable and elegant. What does it mean reliability? The language C Sharp, the compiler and development environment, constantly monitor to us. They prevent some wrong design and wrong action. Elegance means that it's simple and beautiful language. It's very simple because it read like this text. The next slide shows the development environment ID. What is it? This program called Visual Studio. This is program in which programmers write codes. In fact, it is just text editor a text editor with syntax highlighting and a lot of opportunities for the programmers. And this is a great program, which we are going to learn. It appeals to a very, very small program called Compiler. And all of this text 
which the programmer will write here into Visual Studio going to compiler, which convert it to a form that can be executed by computer. Go to the next slide. We describe an algorithms for creating programs in C Sharp. Let's look closer. How do you create the program? What are the steps? We have not even seen Visual Studio, but we try to imagine. The first thing we need to do is write a program in C Sharp. Imagine what we already know this language. We wrote our program in Visual Studio. Next, we need to transform our program into executable file, exe file. Pay attention. It says here my program exe. You see? Exe is abbreviation of executable. So Visual Studio takes the text of our program and converts to the file that we can run a double clip. Further, when we write our program, we sometimes make mistakes. And one of the functions of Visual Studio and the compiler to detect these errors in our program. Because if we don't write a keyword or forgot to about write place at the semicolon, then maybe it would be unacceptable for our program because programming languages differ from natural languages. They are not such rich as English language, for example, but they are more stringent. If in English I can rearrange the verb in the same place, the programming language have a certain order. They have their own grammar. This is a simple grammar which uh, has only a few dozen small rules. So I think learning the C sharp language will be easy for you. When we correct all our mistakes in the program, we can compile our program, transfer it into executable file and run to the program. But sometimes we have logical error. Imagine I write a quotation or formula and I made an error. Instead plus I put minus sign. This sign is correct marks, but now I have another problem. I have wrong formula. This is logical error. And if I instead of the plus sign I put some non exciting symbol, for example the dollar sign, it will be syntax error. The compiler can detect error, but not logical errors. We are called them bugs. Find them is very difficult because you have to reread the code of the grammar and think why the result of the program is wrong. Some of you will say, what is that Visual Studio? Where can I get it? Where can I download it? Don't worry, we will install it for you. Let's go to the Internet Explorer, the browser and visit the website microsoft.com. Yeah, you see here, microsoft.com. Look, uh, that we have here interesting products. Uh -huh. We need Visual Studio, so we go into the tools and find Microsoft Visual Studio. Click on it. Wait, and we have information about Visual Studio. Okay, mm, try to click download and choose the version. Yeah, I think if you listen uh, this course, uh, you know how to insert the program. Uh, okay, and what we have? We have Visual Studio Ultimate 19 day trial version. Uh, I have this uh, version of Visual Studio and recommend you uh, install it too. Uh, you can select the required version of Visual Studio if you like. Uh, you can put the free Visual Studio, it's here. So you should select the Visual Studio Express, it's free product. It will not uh, include a lot of addition, but in the first few months of those addition will not you need.
Therefore, you can easily install by yourself some version of Visual Studio Express Edition. I have installed this one. Uh, you can also try it. Select language, type of installation, download, install and set it as a normal program. Here we have launched program. What are we going to do with it? How do we write a simple program here? As we said that there are desktop application, web application, there are many other applications, but today we will focus only on the desktop and C web application. How can we develop a simple little site? But here we need to talk about desktop application. We have two types of them window application and console application. Console application is just black screen and white text. If you push window, error, write CMD and push enter, we see a console. Black screen and white text. Close. Okay. You don't worry, uh, we won't only work on the console, we will work with console application and full Windows application and with advanced desktop application uh, that are using technologies VPF Windows Presentation Foundation. But while the first application we traditionally consider the console because it's easy, simple, fast running, that is a uh, what is Windows application? Oh, we have thin it. Visual Studio, all Visual Studio, this is a real world example of Windows application, which uh, has elements such as menu, dialog box, and so on. This is kind of application is called the desktop Windows application. We want to create console application. Let's create it. But first we need to create a project. It will be created automatically. Let's select the menu file and we want to create a new one. Let's create a new one. Select the item new and here we see project item website team project. It's uh, when a lot of programmers 20 or 30 are developing a program. Website we will be create a little bit later. Now we will create a standard project. Okay. After the select, uh, what we see, we are not interested in Visual C plus plus. We are interested in this category Visual C sharp because we are C sharp programmers. We can write on C sharp Windows application web application we have office application uh, we can develop application for microsoft office which this means that we can develop programs for our documents that we create in the office suite actually we use vba language visual basic for this application but we can do the same things using language c sharp now we use only one language and we do not need to learn VBA. Next, for example, SharePoint. Next one, VCA, for example, the construction of distributed system, uh, workflow, building business solution. But we are interested in the console application. We are selecting console application and we should call the project here for example it will be my first console app and ok just a second and our visual studio creating project my first console application yeah and uh, we have we have 
text editor you can see it and we have solution explorer uh, where is uh, we can see our project don't worry you will realize soon that all those designs are very simple at the first three or four lessons we will be learning them we will work on the inside this one curly brackets the main thing that you should remember is method main you see uh, it will always appear in your programs we will write our programs in between the opening and closing curly brackets of the method main and where is save it all that we have just created right click on the name of our project solution in solution explorer and choose open folder in file explorer yeah it open so we have my first console app it's our folder so we have my first console app it's microsoft visual studio solution uh -huh. we have the same in the solution explorer yeah you see my first console application app and this we have my console my first console app so the same things open my first console app folder and what we have we have the same things we have programs .cs programs.cs and visual c sharp source file and we have my first console app visual c sharp project file so we have the same thing this and this okay let's try to write something traditionally all the programmers write their first program as a result of which the screen displays the phrase hello world how we can write it on c-sharp start typing the world console c o n you see you see what happened after the start visual studio gives a hint this is automatic supplement which is called IntelSense uh, press enter yeah press enter and um, is automatically apparent why is called console previously developers called the console two things the keyboard and the screen not monitor the keyboard and screen it's the console what does the keyboard it helps us organize entering data and what does that screen he shows the result of some programs so together keyboard and screen are called the console this is the name of the virtual object what can i do with my real keyboard i can press the button and enter the information into the computer the screen can display anything images text videos windows and this is you can see on your screen if i want to get access to my console i should after the name of the console put dot yeah like like this put dot and enter the sense is displaying interface to this console what is the interface this is a list of all the commands that i can give this object we understand that all of the object in life have state and behavior state this is the color of hair or eyes or our clothes behavior it's how we behave ourselves objects have state and behavior too we will see that the c sharp language describe the state and behavior of the object console this is a very small object but he has state and behavior too how to distinguish them from each other where is it the keys in our list we have special keys 
Keith means state. Q is behavior. Lighting is action. What we want to do with this console? We would like to display some string. We must say console write on your black screen with white letter phrase hello world. Begin typing write W R and the end of the sense are displaying two terms write and write line. We select write just enter. Next we put parentheses and semicolons like this. If we need to display a string we should close it in double quotes. We put double quotes here and write our phrase hello world exclamation mark now we need to run our program click start and the console has appeared and disappeared why the console appears display the string and immediately close it console wrote on the screen line and completes the work because she did not care that people don't have time to see the writing. What we can do with it? The console can display information on the screen and can receive information from the user. Let's try to do this. When I write in the console, the console read. So, we can write console Dot. And you see, until sense told us we can put read k, read, or something else. We choose read k and we quickly print brackets. See, until sense add a word itself. Never write anything by hand, it's dangerous and harmful, especially on the early stage of programming. Use on the, the enter. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm, we tell the console to read the pressed K. Now the console will have been waiting until we press the button. Now we can start that it console write hello world. Now we know how to build the first application, but how to give someone this program. We return to our project folder. Bin debug. You see, uh, we have my first console app. It's uh, our program. If we execute it by double click and uh, see our application uh, we can imagine that it program we can give somebody but I strongly recommend you uh, don't do this because uh, when you install it Visual Studio we set a virtual machine that interprets our code and um, we installed a lot of functionality. What kind of functionality? For example, we can see it if close it and click on the console. Uh, we have this list and choose go to definition. You see? And we are going into the code that was written by Microsoft programmers. They created this console. See how many different functionality they have created. You see? Go back. Okay. Uh, your computer has many different kind of functionality. And if you like to give this program to somebody, 
he should have the same version of operation system or virtual machine. Obviously, this is not very convenient. Therefore, if you want to give your program a normal user on panel standard, you will set release in this drop-down list. In debug mode, uh, you are working with a program code. To give the program a user, it must be cleaned uh, from all support information. So we set release. Run. Yeah, call this. And visit our bin folder. Okay. Bin debug. You see, we have folder release. Open it. And you see my first console application, this program. You can give your friends, grandma, or someone else. Now we consider the first type of application, console application. Let's see on the error in Visual Studio. Uh, for example, if I remove semicolon in line number 13, and try to run, uh, then I get an error. But this error in the view in the error list. You see? For example, if I correct my error and I don't like to run my project again, I can push F7 and you see Visual Studio right, Bill succeeded. Uh, let's look on the another type of error, logical error. Try to display the sum of two numbers, reduces inside the parenthesis operator. So, right, so dot write and write for example 2 plus 2 f5 we have 0 you can ask me why 0 because in the expression yeah we have a wrong character we need to put plus instead minus oh sorry our program is running so we stop and write plus f5 and we have 4 compiler didn't ensure an error a logical error. We understand that 2 plus 2 doesn't equal 0, but compiler doesn't understand it. Let's see another moment. Why did the previous line hello world and number 4 stick together? Can I move number 4 in a new line? Yes, we can. We need delete right, control backspace, and choose right line. If you remember the old typewriters, uh, they had a lever which moved cursor to the next line. So right does not move the cursor to the next line and right line do this. F5 and what we have? We have hello world in the first line and four in the second line. It would be the same if you want to say me, Alexander, do step. How would you do it? You should write somebody here, uh, Alexander. Yeah, dot and do step. Do step. For example. Uh, and then the 
for instance, put the number of step, for example, 10. Okay, so we have construction. Alexander, do step. How many step? 10. Uh, you see, Alexander does not exist in the current context. Uh, why does studio write error? Because I don't live in this virtual world. Okay, and now we will see to the next type of application. It's Windows application. We will have Solution Explorer, our project, and we like to have a project with buttons and menu. We can go to the File, New, Project, select Windows Form application or WPF application, or we can right click on the Our Solution and add New Project. You see? And choose Windows Form application. Let's call it my first form form app, for example. Yeah. Okay. See what happens. We have created a new project and immediately open the forms. This let's try to start program and we have error. We have two project in our solution. Yeah, you see? And error come from my first console application. So we should visit oh so we should visit my console app and you see lead this line start our program and yeah our result okay now visit my uh -huh, you see we have program CS it's our console program but we input in forms uh, we talk about uh, programs a little bit later uh, try to start you see we like to work in my first form app but and the result we have from my first console. You see, uh, my first console app uh, in bold. Um, what it mean? Uh, maybe it mean that my first app start at first, and then my first form of app uh, maybe start, maybe no. We don't know. Uh, try to change this open see open properties solution uh, explorer uh, my solution and open properties and what we have we have a current solution single startup project my first console application so see my first console application and here the that's why our project console project start at first we can choose my first form app and maybe more comfortable for us uh, choose correct uh, current solution okay and now when we visit this form and right Stop. Yeah, you see, uh, my first form application in bold. 
start we're on the application and we get a form but form is empty what is the form imagine that this is a big blank sheet of paper we want to put something on the this form for example buttons um, what we need we need toolbox click and you see we have a huge item in this window uh, we like for example button drag and drop it hmm, on our form and try to start our project mm -hmm. we have we have a button try to click on it nothing happened close hmm uh, maybe we at first try to rename this button mm -hmm. you see I click uh, right click uh, on the button and open properties and uh, uh -huh, we have text text field and this is button one this is button one okay try to change example show enter you see we change the text inside this button um, when we press this button uh, I think something will be happened and uh, maybe some windows opened and uh, in these windows we have some message mm, for example try to start it maybe Visual Studio do something first um, show no you see nothing happened close it mm, okay and w w what we need we need uh, some action mm, okay double click double click on the button and we opened uh, we opened co this uh, called event handler for for the for the button this uh, method will be used when user press the button what we can to do for example we will open a dialog box write message box Me so. oh sorry message box dot see uh, we have equals reference equals show we need to show something just show and uh, what what we like to show we like to show phrase hello and now we can start our program we're on our program and click on the button show and we have another window and phrase hello w huh it's grammatically incorrect so why should studio don't understand uh, our grammar okay let's close it and delay w and press f5 again yeah show we have hello let's see how we can create a menu we need to select in two box uh, menu strip drag it and drop on our form and uh, we like to have menu like this uh, so we write file uh, in file we write open we can open file or close file okay uh, next one mm, for example help all program have help 
and about where we write all information about our program okay run our project mm -hmm. you see when we click on the show we have hello or uh, we have noted uh, file open nothing happened close nothing happened help about hmm. okay double click on the about and we have even handler for item about uh -huh. what we what we need um, we need some information about our program yeah so we write message me message box you see and the sense mm, give us a hint uh, message box okay enter and dot you can equal reference equals you don't know it mm, we, we we need to show something so show yeah and what would we like to show uh we like have message for example this is my first program exclamation mark okay and run our project we have our form okay show hello it works mm, file open no help no but wow we have another window this is my first program you see let's look how we can close this our program close we we, we, we don't have uh, we uh, don't have action on the button close okay stop and use the tower forms file close double click on the close and um, what we can write print this this button this close and to the sense uh, give us a hint we can close okay enter enter and um, f5 you see we have have form uh, we have this is my first program uh -huh. show hello see and mm, for example this is my first program file no file close and we close our program you see how it works okay now we have a basic knowledge of working with windows forms and where it has been saved right click on our project open folder it's been debug and you see we have our project uh, let's open this group list and choose release mm -hmm. f5 and start our project okay open folder with bin and we have released you see uh, the same as uh, the console application we uh, have my first form app uh, it's our program which uh, we can uh, send our friends or somebody else 